Oh, it's nice that we are at the venue for our assembly. We are. We've sneaked into Casey's kitchen. Look at my chef whites. Didn't have a hat. Chef hat, so I've got a gangster hat. This is what they used to do in the 20s. What are we doing, Miss Marshall? Right, hold on. Let me get over to the recipe. Let's see if you can see this. We are doing... Oh, it's all the wrong way around. No, it's not. Doesn't matter. Rock cakes. <laughs> Okay, right, so we have put our oven on. What temperature did we put the oven on to? <coughs> 220 degrees. Oh, it's Marshall. Okay, 220, it's on. Have you got your sieve? Sieve, got sieve. Have you got your mixing bowl? Mixing bowl. Have you got your weighing scales? Weighing scales. Have you got a uh, two spoons? Two spoons. Have you got your non stick baking tray? Non stick baking tray. Fabulous. Okay, okay first job do? sift the flour into the bowl, please. Sift the flour into the bowl there you go don't get this in a casey lesson <laughs> she doesn't make this much mess and stuff. No. okay now you've got to rub your fat into the flour I beg your pardon so we had 200 grams of self-raising flour now you're rubbing 75 grams of butter into it 75 please. grams of butter make it, it look like breadcrumbs make it look like breadcrumbs yeah. can you see can you see what i'm doing Let's move that out of the way. Look at this. Look at this. Breadcrumbs. Beautiful breadcrumbs. Bread this is Casey's going to be having a fix with the mess we're making. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Once you've got your breadcrumbs, he's best. going like the wind. He really is. <laughs> he did wash his hands. I'm oh. sure you did wash his hands. Absolutely. Ooh. Okay. So once we've got breadcrumbs, what, what we're going to do now is we're going to stir in 75 grams of sugar and 75 grams of dried fruit. So it's nice and easy to remember the quantities. 75, 75. Yep, butter was 75 and self-raisin was 200 grams. Oh, <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up, we're done. No. Okay, so there's, right. there's, there's my breadcrumbs. Sugar and dried so fruit. sugar's in, sugar's in. <laughs> um, dried fruit. Dried fruit, in. Okay, <laughs> we'll give, give, it a stir. That. give it a bit of a mix up, yeah. Yeah, and then that. once it's all mixed up, can you make a well in the middle, please? A well? A well! A little hole in the middle. A little hole in the middle. And then this is going to be the fun bit. This is oh, oh this is so easy. Jeremy, um, what's his name? Jamie. Oliver. Oliver gets paid thousands for this. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so into your well. Have you got a well? well? Crack your egg. It's my well. One egg we need for this one recipe. Egg. Just one egg. Oops. There we go. Okay, in it goes. And then with your wooden spoon, which we didn't mention at the beginning, wooden spoon, wooden spoon we're going to mix it all together to make a soft yet firm dough. A soft yet firm dough. And if you need to make it a little bit um, softer, you can add water or milk. Okay. I think we might need a little bit of um, water, miss. Okay. Look at this, eh? This okay. is the first. There's some water, don't Thank add you. it all in, just add a tiny you bit. Might need a little bit in there to bound it. To bound it. To bind it. To bind it. To bind it. Here now we hopefully go. this lovely recipe is gonna make eight rock cakes. Eight rock cakes, that's what I like. And what we're gonna use once it's all combined, we're gonna use the two spoons to put them into eight rough rock type shapes. Oh, you okay. did a great job there. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. It's not Just binding. show them what it looks like so that they can see, because that's quite a good, soft, yet firm dough. <laughs> Do you like it soft, Mrs. Marshalls? I'm ignoring you. Here we goes. There we, we go. go. There's, there's my dough. Okay, there's your, there's your baking there's tray. There's my baking tray. That I gave a little bit of a grease to, not too much. A little bit of a grease. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so how many do you have to split it into? Can you remember? Oh, was it eight? Eight, yeah. Eight spoons. So get my double spoon. <laughs> Look at the same hands. <laughs> okay, okay, so. On to the baking tray. Remember, we want roughly eight of them. Eight of those. The great so I've got thing. to split it into eight, eight, yeah? Yeah, the great thing about this is that they don't have to be e equal or particularly round. They look quite big. Yes, they do. Oh, we're um, doing them all different shapes and sizes, are we? <laughs> it's 
include that in it. They will look like uh, rocks, that's for sure. <laughs> or pebbles. They pebbles, could be. Yeah. You could be making some pebble cakes. Yeah, this it's, is. It's such an easy recipe to follow. This one, even um, Mr. Watson did it. Why are we doing them? Um, what cakes? Well, that's a good question. Is it because of the um, victory in Europe, the VE Day celebration? Yes. This is a nice recipe that we thought people might want to make at home next week. Because these, these are what they used to make in um, those days. Yeah, what were those days? The World War II days. Excellent. <laughs> these are going to bake for 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how, how your oven is, and they will go golden brown. Okay. So this is where you might need an adult to help you if you haven't already got an adult working on this. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go and put these in the oven. And let's have a look, as if by magic, oh, look, this is a, what do we say? Here's some we prepared earlier. Oh. Look at that. Now, look at those. Look at the colour on those. Some, some might say a little well done. Well done is good because the currants become a little bit crusty. So <laughs> I'm going to taste it. Um, I'll be uh, Paul Hollywood. Okay. And you can be Mary Berry. Or Prue Lee. Or Prue. Mm. Okay, shall I come in? Oh, nice. Borrow a bit there. Nice. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. That's great. So, any other requests for us to do a lesson, let us know. Um, You've had a really good week this week. Here is some fantastic learning from your teachers. So keep that up. Have a really good weekend. And we'll see you on Monday. Um, keep washing your hands like I'm going to have to. And keep safe. And be good to your parents. Um, let's uh, end with a song. Okay. What have you done, Mr Watts? No pizza heart. <laughs> I want a McDonald's. There we go. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone.